should know when to shut up as a guy. <laughs> what? Hell no! Wow, do you know how frustrating this is? Pause. I'm filming this video to rant. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anita. Thanks to all my returning subscribers. I love you guys. Thanks for always coming back. And if you're new here, please do not forget to click the subscribe button. You all look beautiful today. Did you know that? I know I do too. Even if you won't tell me. But if you go ahead and tell me, I'm gonna just my blush a little. But then, so today I'm going to be talking about my pet peeves about guys. Like, some things about guys can be so freaking frustrating so annoying like you just you just want to scream okay my first pet peeve about guys is when they don't know what they want out of a relationship like are you in or out like what what do you want like just stop being confused like it, it can be free, pretty frustrating because like you already know what you want out of a relationship like as a girl and then you're expecting that this guy has his shit together but he doesn't freaking know what he wants and he's just wasting your bloody time that really ticks me off another one of these pet peeves i have is when a guy likes to fake everything like you know legit you don't have money like we both know this and you're trying to act like your father is down -wooding. like like why why who are you trying to deceive bruv like you're putting on fake this and fake that and then you're trying to make, make me believe that you have money when you don't like like i even care about that like stop being fake like seriously guys some guys need to stop being fake if you feel like they're doing it for girls well i just feel like it doesn't make any sense it's so annoying another one is armpit hair <sighs> oh my goodness this is irritating for me like when I'm attracted to a guy and I find out that he likes to keep his armpit hair like excuse me are you a caveman <laughs> like seriously because it's why would you be keeping your armpit hair like for what so you can start using it to braid like make braids out of it it doesn't make any sense I don't know why guys do this. It really, really, really ticks me off. Especially when the guy is a fine boy and you're like, this guy is fresh and everything. And you find out that he has armpit hair. That he's not willing to shave off anytime soon. Mm -mm, not for me. I hate it. Yeah, another thing I do not like is when a guy has too much chest hair. <clears throat> Are you a grizzly bear? Why do you have so much hair on your chest? Like, I can't be trying to rest on your chest, like, lie down, and it's like the forest is growing into my ears. No, it doesn't work, fam. It doesn't work. Cut it off. <laughs> Another pet peeve I have about guys is when they do not like to comb their hair. Wow. Do you know how frustrating this is? Do you know how frustrating this is? Do you? It's so frustrating, I swear. Because, like, your hair is rough. We both know this. You see yourself in the mirror. I see you. You know that I see you. And you leave your hair like that to look like what? Like, I can't be looking like a slay queen like this. And then you come to me and you want to be my man. And you cannot comb your hair. What's that? <laughs> what do you take me for? <laughs> what? Please, get lost. Another pet peeve I have about guys is when he's just nonchalant about his looks in general like he doesn't care what kind of clothes he wears like he doesn't care if this is clean enough he doesn't care he just dresses anyhow and looks untidy and like he just doesn't give a flipping f about anything and it's so sad really it's so sad because like even when you think you can change them you really can't like he would have overgrown beards and everything like there's nothing wrong with keeping beards like i am i am all for team beard gang don't get me wrong but like when your beards are overgrown and you're not even keeping them well like they're just messy and untidy Ugh, please now help us help us another pet peeve one of the most annoying ones 
when he doesn't like to cream his body use deodorant or perfumes or anything on his skin because he feels like it's chemicals on his skin and mind you most of the guys who actually do this have body odor for real like they stink and they don't want to put anything on their body so they're just like let loose on the world like take me as i am <laughs> hell no like I, I had an issue with the guy once because of this like i noticed he didn't like to like put cream on his body and everything and i asked one because like his body was like always white it was so annoying i'm like don't you rub cream and it's like he doesn't like to rub cream it's like chemical <coughs> what <coughs> what are you crazy are you are you are you insane bro <laughs> another thing i don't like i don't i know this must be strange but when he finishes his tea before the bread or the bread before the tea i hate it i totally hate hate it like if you have to take bread and tea you're supposed to take it together like that's the whole point like duh why would you take it separately it annoys me another pet peeve guys when a guy doesn't like to apologize for his wrongdoings like he knows he's wrong you know he's wrong you've told him he was wrong you guys have like cleared it out that he is obviously wrong and yet he refuses to apologize like what 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 are you doing me if you cannot apologize for something you've done wrong like I believe every guy should be able to apologize to his woman after doing something wrong like this isn't even something that is up for contest like you should know you, you should apologize whether you're a guy or a girl you do something wrong to your partner and then the next thing is to apologize but no pride we not allow them but remember pride goes before a fall when a guy is dirty it freaks me out why would you be so dirty like you leave your underwear like for weeks and weeks on end you keep wearing them over and over and over again you don't get to wash anything you don't tidy anything in your room like everything in your house is unkept and then like you look horrible your clothes are always dirty you're why 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 will you be dirty? No! I hate it. I totally, totally hate it. Like, y'all should know how to keep your things clean and tidy. Like, just try. At least make an effort. I know some guys will say, oh, they're too lazy to do this and... Oh, please. Like, you need to be clean. Why would you keep a dirty lifestyle? And you think it's gonna help you get a girl? Like, really? It won't. <laughs> Another pet peeve is smelly breath. Some guys' mouth, if they open it, oh my Jesus. If they open their mouth, I don't even want to go further. Like, smelly breath is a total no no for me. You should know how to, I mean, brush your teeth two, three times a day if you know you have smelly breath. Always have tic tacs, I think that's what they call it, tic tacs. Always have something minty, something to take that. Other hours because you cannot open your mouth and be talking to me and be emitting weapons of mass destruction. I mean, another pet peeve is when a guy is too lousy and talks too much, like he doesn't know when to shut up. He always wants to gossip about this, gossip about that, gossip about that person and that person. There's nothing wrong in doing small maple. Don't get me wrong, like I do it sometimes too, but like seriously, you should know when to shut up as a guy. You cannot be talking like a radio without batteries like for real you should know when to shut up like i hate it when a guy is just too lousy and too loud like you're talking too much and you are ugh, what is it safe and the last one is when a guy is just outright rude i really can't stand it like i can't even be around someone who's rude like no no i cannot i cannot be around a guy who is rude to me like how are we supposed to cope? Please, how? All right guys, so those are my pet peeves about guys. Let me know yours in the comment section and let's discuss about it. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter on my handles. 
let me know what you think about this video in the comment section like don't forget to subscribe and share with your friends let those friends share with their other friends if you stay this long and you have not subscribed to my channel i will come and meet in your house it's not gonna be funny subscribe don't forget to hit the notification bell so you get notified every time i post a video i had fun doing this with you i hope you had fun as well i'll see you guys on the next video but till then au revoir